What I have here is um, a scatter graph, and these points, the information from these points, I've just put them into a table here. So the context is the average time, the average daytime temperature for 10 days is recorded, and that's being placed here on the X axis. A shop also records its ice cream sales for each of the 10 day, each of the 10 days, and that's being placed on the Y axis. Okay, and this information here, these crosses, I've got them all here in a table as well. Now. One thing that we need to learn for our statistics course is how to find the mean point. Okay, now, just saying the mean point, I think it's quite obvious what I'm going to do. I'm going to find the mean for these values, the mean for these values, and because this was placed on the x-axis, that would be my uh, mean for the x values, and then because that was placed on the y-axis, that would be, uh, I would find the mean for the y-axis as well. And that, that will be a pair of values that I can actually plot here. Okay, so what I'm going to try and do is find a mean point. Okay, mean point. Now, you can think of this as x bar and y bar. All right. Now, I've already done this um, for these values here. Now, these are my x values. That's my average temperature, and it's here as well. Now, I added them all up, and because there's 10 of these values, I divide by 10, and that gave me 13.75, okay? So 13.75, and I've also done it for these values, so I added them all up, and I divided by 10, and that gave me 152, so 152. Now, that is my mean point. Now, I can plot this here, so I can find that on my grid and then just plot it, so let's do that now. Um, so this is going to be 11, 12, 13, and around there, and then 152 is about there, okay? So I'm going to plot that point. So that's 11, 12, 13, that's 14. So approximately here, I would say. Okay, so 13.75 and 152. Now, one of the reasons why we do this is so that we can use it to draw a line of best fit. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a line of best fit through this mean point, and I'm going to try and get equal numbers of uh, these crosses okay, on either side. Okay? So that's what I'm going to try and do now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place my... You're not going to be able to see it, so I'm going to be placing my ruler about here and see if that works. If that doesn't, I'm going to adjust it maybe to go more like that and try and get a line of best fit from that. Okay? So... Looks like if I go through here, that'll be fine. Like that. Okay, so that's my line of best fit. I haven't gone too far away from these points here, and I haven't gone too far away on that side as well. And I've, you know, I've tried to get it through the mean point, okay, but it was a little bit difficult to do that. But you know, if I had got it through the mean point, then that would have been really good. Okay, so this is how we can draw a line of best fit using a mean point. Now, don't get this confused with GCSE maths. For GCSE maths, you do not need to find mean point. This is a concept that we will be using in GCSE statistics. Now, what I want you to do for your homework is for those scatter graphs that you've drawn on your graph paper, I want you to find the mean point for those, value, uh, those values on your scatter graph, okay? Plot the mean point and use it to draw a line of best fit. So do that for every scatter graph that you have in your homework.